don't forget to check out and order your copy of our latest book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. You can find this book at our on our website at footballgameplan.com slash books, and we have these available in both paperback and PDF form. <laughs> Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you another edition of Film Session with the Czar, where today we're going to break down a game of defensive lineman Brian Keyes out of Minnesota State. First, let's get familiar with Brian Keyes and our player profile out of Minnesota State. He came across my desk at the Super Regional Combine as a guy that I said I need to see more tape on because I hadn't studied him throughout the course of the season. So when I went back and found tape on him, I came away highly impressed. Now, he had 92 tackles for his career, 18 TFLs, eight sacks, and two interceptions. He's an all-conference performer and also was an all-region performer this year and was named the team's defensive newcomer of the year as a true freshman. Brian Keyes played mainly the one tech, the shade, and nose tackle for Minnesota State. And the one thing I wanted to see was how strong at the point of attack he was. And needless to say, I came away highly impressed. You see here versus Sioux Falls, Keyes is able to shock and drive as he puts the center on skates and drives him into the quarterback. You'll get a better illustration of this from the end zone cam. As Keyes begins to collapse the pocket, the quarterback was forced to rush the throw and wasn't able to get enough power onto it. Now, here versus CSU Pueblo, the offensive line attempts to wash him down, but he's able to anchor, hold his own, and make the play. Point of attack strength was purposely shown first because it leads right into the next thing I noticed about Brian Keyes on film, and that's his ability to shed blocks. At 6'1", 300 pounds, Keyes has the listed size of a three tech, but is able to anchor and get off blocks like a 6'5", 350 pound nose tackle. I think that's a really good trait to have because too often you see defensive tackles that tend to stay blocked, and that's not playing winning football. Keyes is consistently using his hands to disengage, whether it's a push-pull rip or club and swim, Keys is able to get off blocks and be disruptive versus a run and also in getting pressure on the quarterback. And speaking of applying pressure, the first two leads into this portion of the video and Keys checks off the boxes for point of attack strength and shedding blocks and uses both in addition to his quickness in getting pressure on the quarterback. When Keys is playing with leverage, offensive linemen have a really tough time blocking him one-on-one. -on -one. And with the way Keys uses his club and rip or swim move, it's textbook, just like you see it in practice on the bags, which tells you he was well coached at Minnesota State. And at times, he may not get the sack, but does enough to disrupt the throw, which is just as good because it could end up as an incomplete pass or an interception. So, so far, going back to the tape to get a look at Keyes' game has been eye-opening because a lot of what he showed at the Super Regional Combine is showing up on film. Lastly, I threw this portion in here, the hustle of Brian Keyes. Hustle will get you anywhere you want to go on a football field. And even though he doesn't make the initial stop in the backfield, he chases the play down and still ends up with the tackle on the QB. That's a great hustle play right there. You want to see that from linebackers and corners. But when you see it from a defensive lineman, it tells you all you need to know about his passion and his willingness to do whatever it takes to get the job done. He didn't give up on this play, and that's huge. So in conclusion, going back to the tape to check on Brian Keyes and what he's able to bring to the table was a great thing to do because, again, a lot of what he showed during the Super Regional Combine, during those agility drills, during the five bag drills, showed up on film, and that's exactly what you want to see. So I would definitely feel comfortable taking this guy in the NFL. I think he'll excel as a one tech, and there are some things he has to improve on his game, like playing with better leverage. But overall, when you are that strong at the point of attack and you have the ability to shed blocks and also apply pressure from a collapsing the pocket standpoint, there is a lot coaches will like about Brian Keyes' game. I think he definitely has a bright future ahead of him. <laughs> 